Well, 2024 was looking fairly well until it began raining in April and it, it did not stop. We had over 20 inches probably within a month or six weeks. Larry Holsher is a farmer in Western Falls County where repeated rounds of rain and severe weather have wreaked havoc. But then on Mother's Day, we had these that good old hail storm and that set everything back and then it's it devastated quite a few acres in this area. The constant unfavorable weather resulted in low crop yields for Holsher and many other farmers in Central Texas. This was a stark contrast to the bountiful harvest he made last year. Last year we made an exceptionally very good crop and I never dreamed we wouldn't make corn as we did last year. Of course, we're going to pay for it this year. Holster expects most of this year's harvest will be unfit for human consumption. Instead, it will be sold for animal feed and at a much lower price. There's a, a number of deductions it depends on. Well, when it hits to a certain point, then it becomes feed grade wheat. And when you get to feed grade wheat, it's 50% uh, or less of price from what you're uh, standard price would be <laughs> at the granary. Although this season will result in economic losses, Holsher won't spend much time grieving as hopeful preparations for next year start now. You know, we have to be optimistic and keep hoping for the best. And we, we're in an area here where, where uh, <clears throat> whatever the good Lord gives us in weather, that's what we receive. That's been a look at Central Texas Agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is sponsored by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.